All right, YouTube, this is going to be my first teardown of uh, that box that I was able to pick up at the auction. What we're looking at here are four Nokia phones. I'm going to be showing you all the different models that I'm going to be taking apart. First model we got right here. Oh, there it is. All right, so this is the first model we're going to be taking apart, a 3589i. Model number two is an 8270. Model number three is a 2115i. Model four is a 5170i. All right, so let's go ahead and crack into these four Nokia phones and find out what they're made of. Every one of the screws inside of an old Nokia phone is normally a T6. That's gonna be this. T6. Make sure you have one. Okay, and here we have it in order. The 8270. As you can see, all of the connector pins here. And this is the Mylar with all the push buttons on it. And then the LCD screen. Okay. So that's that. Moving on to the next model, we have the 3589i. going to be this guy right here. There's a lot of shielding on the back of that. I didn't pop off. You've got the Mylar for the buttons. LCD screen and then all of your connectors and external antenna. All of these have very, very small amounts of gold plating on them, but it's worth salvaging anyways. And you have uh, neodymium magnets. Moving on to the next model. We have the model 2115i. As you can see, there's a lot of aluminum in this one. Got that piled up right here. The PCB itself. The Mylar for the buttons. External antenna. Uh, a couple broken parts here, don't really matter. The no gold plating. A few pins here with gold plating on them. You've got your speaker, neodymium magnet inside. You have your vibrator motor and a couple connectors here for your power. Very, very thin gold plating and your LCD screen. Moving on to the final model. Final model PCB. This one had two large PCBs inside. Obviously there was a lot on this one. Mylar push button, LCD, speaker, and microphone. And that's all for that one. Please leave a comment below, like, or subscribe. Thank you very much.